welcome to Storytime with Judy. Today's book is The Pout Pout Fish and the Worry Worry Well by Deborah Dyson and illustrated by Dan Hanna. Well, the well is invited to a party. He doesn't think he really wants to go. He's kind of shy and backward and he just worries and worries about going. But then his other fish friends, they tell him, oh, come on, go to the party. You're going to have a good time. So he does. Let's find out if he has a good time or not. Mr. Fish was quite excited. There's a party to attend. With gift in hand, he headed out, then bumped into a friend. Hello there, will o -well, he said. We're off to the same place. But his friend did not look happy. There was worry on her face. Is something wrong, asked Mr. Fish. I'd like to help if so. It's the party, answered will o -well. I don't want to go. Is worry even bigger, even bigger than a whale? I told them I was coming, but then got to thinking of countless things that might go wrong. Now my tummy's sinking. What if it's too crowded or no one wants to play? What if I feel out of place and don't know what to say? Mr. Fish was understanding. Sometimes I worry too. Worry tells us stories, but not all of, all of them are true. So take a great big breath with me to soften worry's voice. Then pick one thing, just one to try, a tiny little choice. Maybe worry isn't bigger, isn't bigger than a whale. Willa thought this over. I could go for just the start. If all my worries do come true, I know I can depart. With plan in mind, the two good friends continued on their way. Deep breaths and conversation helped keep worried thoughts at bay. Closer to the party, Willa's worries started churning. But then she heard, you've got this, and she felt her calm returning. And the sign says, happy birthday. The place was loud and crowded, but she found a comfy space. She watched her friends and played a bit, less worry on her face. Maybe worry isn't bigger, isn't bigger than a whale. Willa didn't talk a lot. She felt a little shy, but that's okay. She coached herself. I only have to try. When worry started bubbling up, she breathed and whooshed them out. You're doing great, said Mr. Fish. It helped dispel her doubt. But all at once, her peace of mind upended in a burst. This time had come for singing, and my singing is the worst. What if I'm too squeaky, off-key and awfully rude? What if I forget the words? What if I get booed? Worries growing bigger, even bigger than a well. A flood of worried thinking cascaded through her head. It nearly overwhelmed her, but she made a plan instead. She turned and said to Mr. Fish, I'm going to try one note. If I get stuck, I'll hum instead. I'll let the music float. So Willa tried, she sang her note, the voices joined as one. And Willa well enjoyed herself, the party has been fun. Worry tells us stories, but not all of them are true. So when worry swims inside me, there are things that I can do. I can find a friend to talk to, then breathe and make a plan, and choose a tiny step to take, believe and know I can. Because worry isn't bigger, isn't bigger than a whale. Well, if Willa hadn't gone to the party, she would have missed out on a good time, wouldn't she? Sometimes we can't things, let things like that stop us because if we do, we might miss out on something good, right? I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to come back tomorrow and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.